Zapier has released a new update that now allows us to add air handling. This is a pretty big deal. This is going to allow us to create automations that are basically autopilot, or even if an error incurs, we can still get our end value point. The ability to add air handling can be added to every single block within Zapier except the trigger. But here is what we're going to do today. We're going to see how we can leverage it for specifically artificial intelligence. We're going to hit add air handler and proceed with today's video. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, we're going to be checking out a new feature that I saw from Zapier to the email list, newsletter list, AI future or early beta access program. I think I'll leave a link down to that below so you can start getting these emails as well from the Zapier team. This video, though, is going to go over air handling. Here's why this is powerful. If you're familiar with code or you understand automations to an extent, basically what's incurring in automation is that when a trigger happens, we'll get our end value point, right? But with air handling, this basically allows us to add else statements. So if code, typically you'll have if, you know, an Instagram post happens, do X, Y, Z. Before this feature was enabled, we didn't have an else statement. We didn't have the ability to add, well, if this actually fails, do this instead. It, it, the logic was more simple. With this new feature, we now have else statements within our automations, basically unfolding a huge capability now within the Zapier platform. Side note as well, check me out on Twitter, description down below, the little birdie. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this new feature by Zapier. So to best showcase this feature, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our IG to Pinterest automation here. All this does is that when a new piece of media is posted on Instagram, it will automatically grab the data within that Instagram post and then reformat it into a Pinterest post. You know, really fast way to basically leverage two different social media platforms. Let's say you perfectly structure the Instagram post. Now you don't have to deal with posting on Pinterest because we're gonna let AI handle the rest of this. So when we're dealing with a artificial intelligence block, we are aware that sometimes we run into timeout errors. Sometimes we just run into errors in general when dealing with AI. This has to do with the fact that when sometimes we're accessing OpenAI's API, a ton of people are accessing it, therefore it causes errors to be in our workflows, even if we set up everything perfectly. Before, when this was occurring, we didn't really have a solution. It was an ability for us to, basically the solution was we had to keep on trying, right? You had to keep on accessing the API point, even if the model was in like a severe situation where you know, the API point wasn't working. To give you more clarity, this is what I'm referring to. Basically, when the system is not operational and we see that there's outages, this is when errors can occur for automations, specifically in the context of AI. Obviously, we can add this airflow block to any type of block. In this video, let's go ahead and see how we can add it to artificial intelligence. So we got our prompt here. We got based off this caption, and then we got the Instagram caption here. Generate SEO optimized Pinterest title, max three to 10 words. We'll go ahead and zoom in one more time. We're gonna go ahead and add this airflow. So we say add air handler. So in the context that there is an error with ChatGPT, this usually has to do two major things, either an outage or just a timeout. Now, depending on whether either of those incur, we still got like the underlying issue of that if a timeout or a partial outage happens, the entire automation just gets chopped at the knees. It can't proceed past there, and we basically don't get our end conversion event of a Pinterest post. But now, if this error incurs, here's what we're going to do. We're going to add another step here. Now, your question might be like, okay, are we going to retry? Chad GBT's endpoint. Well, if there's an outage, we're probably gonna get the same error, right? So we can we can go ahead and add an anthropic. Let's use a alternative AI provider to get the same conversion endpoint. Obviously, the actual underlying prompt itself may need to be different, but the point being is that now we have insurance set up within our AI automation flows. What's crazy here is that you can even kind of layer this. So if it's like, okay, we're gonna try anthropic, anthropic fails. We're going to go ahead and try chat GBT and like you can probably go down a little bit of a rabbit hole here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just go just simple layering. We could probably do more advanced videos on why you would do, you know, a layering effect like that. For now, though, let's go ahead and create an event. We're going to do an event of conversation. We got our account locked up here. We got actions and let's try the exact same prompt. So with this prompt, we're going to go ahead and say based off this caption, generate SEO, optimize Pinterest title, max three to two, 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 three to ten words. We're going to choose cloud two. You guys see there's a bunch of models within here as well. We got all the you know relevant variables that we're used to, even memory key. So we can add a memory key here as well. Uh, consistent output at scale. I'm going to test this step. And we get a response message here. But as you can tell, it's not perfect like it was with ChatGPT because we need to actually probably restructure the conversation a little bit as we're talking to a different AI model. So generate SEO, optimize pin, uh, Pinterest title, max three to, three to 10 words. Generate just the title, no text before or after. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh our memory key. We're gonna add a one, new chat, continue, retest step. There we go. We got our perfect Pinterest title here that we requested here. So what we need to do now is we have our insurance set up. 
or our second supplementary AI model set up or AI provider. We can go ahead and du duplicate this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drag it here and yes, move step, don't worry about it. And then we're gonna go ahead and click this and make sure that the data we're providing here, some of it's fixed text, some of it is just the you know formatting data that we did earlier to the Instagram block here, which I'll show just in case y'all are interested about that. And we're gonna add our Anthropic output here, which will be the assistant response message. And boom, congratulations, y'all. We have essentially just set up a flow that if ChatGPT does a timeout, uh, the status outage incurs, like one of, one of those days where randomly everyone just gets FOMO again for ChatGPT. Now we have insurance set up. So when the automation flow runs and we run into an error in that ChatGPT block, it will use Anthropic and do the same type of value point set up so basically now we can even take this one step further here and we could even maybe layer it if there's an error in anthropic we use a different ai provider and you know add this multi-layer effect for our automation flows pretty pretty powerful stuff here this gives us the ability to add else statements that you can do with code with code <laughs> with code is typically like an if statement and then you have else error equals 401 404 like all these different errors you will have like these different ways of handling it logic wise and now zapier has given us the ability to do that Coming up here though, just for your y'all reference, if you wanted to see how I parsed this data here, basically I just took the input of the caption. So the entire caption data, right? And I use the separator new line. This comes from Zapier's documentation here. It will basically, when it's written out, it will just create each one as a separate data point, therefore allowing me to grab the hashtags and the underlying caption as two separate data points. Corbin, you, Corbin, what are you saying data points? What, what does that even mean? That just basically makes it so that when I set it up over here and I put in the description, instead of me putting in the original caption, I can grab it between the two data points here. So alternatively, it would just be one big data point if I didn't format it like that. I hope that makes sense. That concludes today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what advanced Zapier automation do you want to see? What is something in your business right now? I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I've, 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 I've seen the messages. I've seen the messages. People want to see a little bit more Zapier automations on this channel. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you those tutorials. So let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. I may not get to every single one, but what automations do you want done? It doesn't even have to have AI in it. Do you just want some automation within your business workflow done? And you know, every so often on this channel, I will reference your comment. And I'll create a fully in-depth video of how to achieve your comment because end of the day, if you want it done for your business, so does at least 10 other people. Make sure you leave a like, completely free. At the end here is going to be a Zapier playlist. This is going to be like my OG playlist. It's huge. So if you really want to learn how to use Zapier, you can check it out. The first video, and the, the first two videos are probably the most important if you're a brand, not, brand new novice to Zapier. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referencing when it comes to Zapier and how to leverage it with AI. That's a random video. That's my face. Make sure to check me out on Twitter. And then one last thing, bump ups, bump ups, bump ups. If you don't know what that means, you'll find out very soon. See y'all later.